An exciting week here at WECT, teaming up with Food Lion to help stomp out hunger. A tour of the new food bank location on Greenfield Street provided a tour of promise for volunteers and staff. It's a new era. The much larger space is also primed for new programs designed to help those in need. WECT's Bill Murray has more on its mission and a look ahead to new beginnings. I've never hated being on TV. So. Any food bank in America will tell you volunteers are the supporting cast. They help prop up the show, working in shadows to help feed the hungry on their own time. One, two, three. But locally, and at this moment, the star of the show is the new and improved food bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. The state-of-the-art 31,000 square foot facility sits at 1000 Greenfield Street, the site of a neighborhood grocery store that burned to the ground back in 2018. So the cooler has three distinct um, separate cooling units. Beth Gaglione is the director showing off the place. It's twice as large as the food bank they've vacated, and that doesn't count looking up. Food stored in height they've never had before. We contributed to the food bank's first 3,000 square foot commercial kitchen. Food Line Grocery Store is a partner helping to take the food bank to new heights as well. This check is big for a reason. It's more than half a million dollars, a donation to start a new program. When they had the opportunity to help us make these purchases, they were super excited. A new production kitchen with a threefold purpose, a classroom to teach future cooks, a space for agencies to get heat and eat food for their own clients, and ground zero for humanitarian efforts when disaster strikes. If ever again we experience a storm like Hurricane Florence, we will be much better prepared to serve the people of this community post-storm, our first responders, um, people who are staying in shelters. That is what this kitchen is going to mean to this community, so thank you. Greg Leon said back in 2018, New Hanover County had disaster plans in place, plans that needed a commercial kitchen. Local businesses stepped in and helped. Ultimately, a national organization called World Central Kitchen provided support needed to help feed the hungry on a massive scale. Our goal is to be up and running for hurricane season because we have a put, you know, we've asked for the support of New Hanover County to support us in building this kitchen um, and in exchange for being able to be, you know, what we are internally calling command central uh, in the case of disaster. We are not referring to the garden outside as a community garden. We're referring to it as a, uh, a learning farm. Another new program is the garden that sits on three quarters of an acre on property. Close your eyes, envision produce and a working greenhouse. The goal to educate folks to take what they learn here and plant it back in their own backyard. Grant money requested and a partnership with the county's cooperative extension agency. It's like the old philosophical saying, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with that, yeah. So that's the goal, right, is that we can teach people who are interested in taking the techniques back to their own property and growing their own food. Those are two new programs committed on paper. The food bank also involved in a healthy opportunities pilot, bringing much needed services and food to those homebound. It's also got several other things in development because they've got the space and the documented need. The hope for people driving by is simple. Realize it's a new era of people helping people still being supported by that supporting cast of neighbors helping to make a difference. We want them to know that there's a lot new here, some that we're still trying to get online, but we are a place of support for anyone who walks in the door. 1000 Greenfield Street, the new improved space for the food bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. In Wilmington, Bill Murray, WECT News.